So I'm going to switch gears and talk really briefly about entrepreneurship. So I'll try to give you some of the things I think are really important that other people won't tell you or won't stress as much. And one of those is really just don't settle. Um, it's very, very, very important if you're starting a company to have the right people involved. And I can't stress that enough. I've been you know, enormously happy with the people we've had involved at Google with my co-founder and with Eric. Um, and we took a long time to find these people, actually. Um, I've been working with Sergey for a really long time, but Eric took us over a year to hire Eric. Um, and just generally, having great people involved that you really like and that you know, are compatible with you and all those things is tremendously important. And you're never going to question the equity you gave up or any of the other things. So I can't stress that enough. The other thing I think we really benefited from is being real experts. Uh, we worked on Google for um, many years at Stanford before we started the company. And that was a pretty nice position to be in. We understood sort of all aspects of search. We talked to all the search companies for many years. Um, we, really, we really knew a lot about what was going on. And you can do that pretty cheaply, right? It's just your labor, right? You can invest a year or two or three years and really learn something very, very well um, before you start having hundreds of people you know, working on the problem. Um, I went to a leadership seminar once at Michigan, where I came from, and they have this great sl slogan, which is, have a healthy disregard for the impossible. And what this means is you should set really stretched goals that you're not sure you can achieve, but are sort of reasonable. You know, you don't want completely outlandish goals either. And in fact, um, one thing that I didn't quite realize when I was starting Google is that it's often easier to have aggressive goals. And what that means is a lot of times people um, pick very specific things they want to do because they think they'll be easier to attain. But what happens if you're being more specific, you know, smaller markets, that kind of thing, you also get less resources. So the question isn't really how much resource you need. The question is, you know, can you make a really good case for what you're doing? Um, does it make sense? Do you have a really big advantage? Like if you're building robots that are 10 times less complicated than your competitors, that's probably a good business, right? And maybe it takes a lot of money to get started up, and maybe it's easier um, than doing something simpler. Um, sort of on this theme, you know, it's okay to solve a hard problem. Um, that's why you get paid if you're a company, right? It's for doing something that other people can't do easily. And so a lot of times it's important to do the whole problem. Um, uh, I was talking actually with Jeff Bezos at Amazon um, recently. I said, you know, you really need to solve delivery, right? And, you, you know, some people might say, well, that's not really an issue for Amazon because um, you know, someone else will take care of the delivery. But if people can't order stuff cheaply and get it easily, then it really, really hurts their business, right? And that's clearly would be great if they could solve that. And that's something they think about, right? So don't be afraid of the hard problems. That's really where you get um, the big leverage. Finally, um, don't pay any attention to the VC bandwagon. Um, I think a lot of companies, not so much these days, but still get started because some space is hot. And honestly, I don't think that's a very good reason to start a company. And in fact, um, we see you know, hundreds or thousands of people come to us who want to commercialize something or want us to collaborate with their business. And we actually look at these, and I look at uh, quite a few of them. And my guess is like one, uh, one a year we are interested in. So you know, the, the trick is to have the one that somebody's going to be interested because in, it's a good idea and not to you know, be one of the thousands that come through all the time. And I think you know, if you're the one good, good deal or you have a good idea, you really understand the area you're in. You know, the funding environment doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's a hot area. You know, I guarantee you'll be able to get people interested in helping you out. Um, and I think people, again, really underestimate this. It's really important that it makes sense, not so much what the external environment is. <coughs> 